So I'm sure at your business event or the in-house conference that you're organising, you may not have considered having someone talking about ultra running. What's that got to do with business? Well, a couple of years ago, I found out. And that's what I want to share with your audience at your in-house conference or your event. As it says on here, business lessons from running an ultra marathon. So this is the guy who was responsible ultimately for what I did. This is a guy called Jim Lawless who has a, a concept called Taming Tigers. And he was a headline speaker at an event I was an, a sort of secondary speaker at back in 2019. And the upshot of that was, well, all sort of things happened. I, I ended up doing a podcast, which is still going uh, from August 2019. I wrote a book, which is what this... Uh, event presentation would be around 12 business lessons from running an ultra marathon which i'll be happy to share and offer as a competition with your attendees oh and by the way i raised over seven thousand pounds for the southwest children's hospice so this is the story i want to tell at your event to inspire your audience whether that's your in-house conference or indeed your business event you're organizing so this is what I'll be doing. This I'll just this is a quick overview. So here we are back in February 2019, and I've been listening to Jim, knowing that I've got a landmark birthday coming up in 2021. And here is a copy of my original notes, which said, I need to get out of my comfort zone. And in the top right-hand corner, I've written Classic Quarter. Now, Classic Quarter was a run. I was thinking of doing a third marathon. That is the kind of thing about the story. But decided, listening to Jim, it wasn't enough. So lunchtime, I looked up the Classic Quarter, and discovered that it was from Lizard Point to Land's End and then found out that it was actually 44 miles. Now, at the time, I was running about seven miles. That was my lot, OK? So I'm going to talk through the story of it because um, we got to the finish line in May 2021 and, you know, all those things were achieved. So some of the key business lessons which I'll share with your audience will be around setting a target. You know, it's really important to have a goal, isn't it, to focus on. You know, a big, hairy, audacious goal. That's how it felt to me. I'll be talking about how to tell everyone about your goal, you know, communicate it. And that's where the podcast came in. Um, I'll be talking about making sure you've got the right kit for the event. All right. That's really important. And it's the same in business, isn't it? You know, you need to invest in the right kit to make sure the job gets done. And part of that kit was writing a blog and all that sort of stuff. And of course, you have to keep learning, don't you? I knew nothing about ultra running whatsoever. So I read lots of books. I uh, launched the podcast, got lots of guests on it, and I learned what you need to eat as well, because that was a key part of it. I had no idea that you needed to eat things like hot cross buns on the wrong route to make sure you did this. And then another lesson is planning, you know, and here's a map of the route I took and I broke it down into three mile sections and, you know, where the crew were going to be and all that sort of stuff. And the year before, I managed to do half the half the event as well in a relay with my mate Andy Williams. So, and you know, and then another business lesson is that you've got to visualize success as well. And, you know, I set myself a goal of raising £4,400, £100 a mile. I'd never done anything like this before. And I managed, as you'll have seen earlier, to achieve it. And it all went to the music therapy uh, program at the Children's Hospice Southwest. So it was a great feeling when, you know, when I finished up raising all this money. So that's how it will work, ladies and gentlemen, for your in-house conference or business event. I'll provide a mini ebook with some key notes to, that you can distribute to all your people as well. And in terms of me as a speaker, well, here's just a, a, a quick shot of some of the events that I've spoken about and the, spoken at and the way I do things as well. So it's quite highly energized. I will use some props to bring along as well. And I think it will be a memorable and, and great session for your in-house conference or event. And... Um, in terms of credibility, well, the two pod I do two podcasts. I mentioned the running one. We're now up to 126 episodes. And the business one, which I've been doing for, what, five and a half years now, is up to well over 270 episodes. And I've written a couple of books, which I'll bring with me as competition prizes for your event. The running book, uh, the business lessons from the running book, and the one that came out in 2023, Seven Steps to Successful Presentations. So if you think this would work for your event, the next thing to do is call me on that number, 07785390717, or you can go to my website, trevorjlee.com, and you'll find a link to a Zoom call on there. You can copy that link probably off this slide as well. Um, and that'll be a 15, 20-minute call 
you know, no obligation, no fee, just to suss out what you're looking for for your in-house event or conference and whether this is the right thing for it. And then we can talk about fees and timings and all that sort of stuff. So make the call. Let's get a conversation going. And I look forward to being part of your event and giving your audience a memorable standout 20 or 30 minutes. Thanks very much.